Trip Lizard on the Mod Wiggler forum has a question and a problem regarding his 250E sequencer being a slave to MIDI beat clock and responding correctly to transport controls so that when you push play it starts on the one every time like that. So if you're hitting pause, or I'm sorry, play and pause, which I'm doing now, you see play pause, it just picks up where it left off. So just make sure that's not what you're doing. You have to hit play, stop, play, stop, play, stop. Play. All right. So it just starts on the one. You also um, would probably want to be certain that all of these LEDs are off. And that way these can be divisors for um, MIDI beat clock. So quarter notes, 30 seconds, whatever, maybe eighth notes you want to dial in. And the way, again, to do the quick shortcuts for neophytes just tuning in, you have edit mode on or nothing interesting will happen. So turn that on. And then when you press a button and you hold it, you can sweep through the blue LED. And it's now set all the stages, as you can see, to that. If you want to turn them all off, you turn them all off, sweep through, and now they're all off. So turn those off, put this on advance, and you will have, with my dog's playing the chew toy out there, you will have these as your MIDI clock divisors. And then you just push play and it starts on the one every time if you hit stop. If you hit play, it's only play pause as such. So that should sort it out if your MIDI clock and MIDI um, transport information of sending not just sync but control is on and working correctly. Um, I can't think of at the moment anything else that would make it difficult if you have it set up this way. Make sure it's on advance again. Um, if you turn off all of these, you get nothing, right? So even when you're in play, nothing's happening. So unlike this, which is all LEDs off from MIDI mode generally, it doesn't have to be, it can be, this guy needs to be in advance. And then you have everything working. Uh, see how it goes from there.